welcome back we are designing role center page so this is a step-by-step -step tutorial to design a role center page in the previous part we have discussed like how to create this navigation menu navigation bar and action action bars okay so in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a headline part okay this is what we are going to talk about and um, we are going to design these two things okay um headline part before uh, that the two previous videos you can find it in my channel that is gomes tech talk channel if you haven't subscribed it, please go and subscribe now and here you can find a lot of useful playlists so this is business central for technical consultant and if you just uh, see uh, you can find business central for functional okay for if you're preparing for mb800 you can watch this and i'm also discussing about um the mba 20 okay so the modules which i'm covering for mba 20 and this is practice questions and this is uh, al uh, programming in 21 days so you can find a lot of useful playlist so you can find the previous parts like uh, designing the navigation bar and the navigation menu in this particular playlist big z technical tutorial <coughs> so if you have any queries if you have if you wanted to understand what certification you have you have to do uh, if you want me to conduct a mock interview interview preparation tips resume review so you can schedule a call here the link is in the description and uh, this is the ebook store you can find the perfect ebook for you if you're preparing for interview this is al mastery this is microsoft um, al programming interview question and answers and this is for business central developers and this is for functional consultant this is for techno functional so if you want any specific um, um technology if you are uh, feeling like you don't find a perfect uh, uh, materials for that you can leave that in the comment i will prepare a ebook for you okay so let us go and talk about the today's uh, thing that is uh, designing a headline part in the role center page so headline displays a series of automatically changing headlines okay like uh, we can we can display a series of automatically changing headlines which provides user with up to date information and insight into the business and daily work so this is usually designed with a headline part we have a separate um, uh, page type called a headline part page type okay so i have already completed the code in order to <coughs> explain you in a better way okay so this is the headline part as usual you have to go with the t page but the page type should be headline so if you just press control and space you can find various types of uh, uh, pages available here in that you have to go ahead and select headline part okay and to discuss about the headline part so we have um these things okay so the layout so the page type property should be the um, headline and apart from this if you want to set any specific properties so you can go ahead with that okay so next one you have to go as what you have to create a layout for that this is very important okay so the thing is what the layout the section defines the layout of the page it contains a, a content area like what content you want to going to display in that okay which holds the um uh, like uh, the group we can make it as a general group and uh, here you can you, we are we need two um fields okay so the fee i have already uh, i have already uh, created a variable here that is a welcome label okay which is a welcome and the second one is a business central label awesome label so this is a user defined name okay variable so if you want to understand what is a variable you can go and check the 21 days bootcamp there i have uh, explained about what is a variable and this is an another welcome these three are variables okay and what type of variable we are going to uh, create so i'm i have created label variable and this is a text variable and for the first label it should be like welcome and here i wanted to display the user id okay that is welcome gomati if you want to display your name so whatever the name which is given in the business central that will be displayed here and the important thing which we have to uh, uh, see here is what the second label where i have used a qualifier okay so this is qualifier means what this is um uh, basically this specifies the title which appears above the headline 
if you uh, if you want this uh, thing qualifier you can use this okay okay these are the expression properties which supports the following like syntax you can just uh, uh, you can just start it with the uh, tag so this we call it as a tag symbol greater than and less than we call it as a tag and inside you can go with the qualifier so you can add three tags one is qualifier okay and the second one is payload payload is what uh, actual headline text and finally emphasis okay and finally it is emphasis emphasis uh, it styles like a uh, italic like style and the uh, display so you can see here i have used uh, qualifier microsoft learn so how it is displaying see you can see this is microsoft learn this is this is actually the headline okay and above the headline part i wanted to display something so i have used m uh, 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 sorry qualifier okay this is qualifier okay and the next one is this is what the actual headline okay so just let us see like where i have used this exact uh, headline so the qualifier whenever the tag if you know html you can easily understand this whenever you open anything open any tag you have to close the tag okay qualifier and qualifier you have to close the tag and uh, next one is the payload this is the headline so this is what the actual headline as i told um this is what the actual headline headlines okay headlines so here you can see in the payload i have mentioned only headlines in okay so the, this is what headlines in and after that i need a business central which is like emphasis okay i will explain that emphasis so you can see emphasize okay emphasize the business central should be emphasized and then or welcome again it's a payload so here i have opened the payload so i have opened the payload tag here but i have clo i am closing the payload tag here okay that whole text is an is a headline part so i have to mention like this okay so these three i hope you understand these three variables how we have created and then when the um, thing is open on open page this is on open page trigger so what it should do is what when the page is open so i have to store this welcome okay with a substring that is a st string number and this is the function okay i have created this uh, function and here this is a welcome label comma user id so this is what the welcome welcome the welcome label will be displayed here and comma instead of this percentage one your user id will be displayed here okay so this is how this will work okay so we are just um we are just uh, um uh, like uh, we are just displaying the uh, username like this i'll just open this so you can see here this is what welcome gomes tech talks okay so this is what that and then so here um what i i am doing is what inside the group the field the first field will be what the welcome so what is there in the welcome so i have to display the welcome label welcome gomes tech talks so this is what the first headline okay and what should be the second headline okay that is the next one is awesome okay what is that awesome uh, so here um, i am just calling this business central label awesome label and uh, what i am doing is what the drill down okay and i am making this as the hyperlink so what happens whenever you are adding something emphasize inside the emphasize i am adding business central okay and i am just hyperlinking that um, business central awesome label in that business central okay you can if you click on that business central it should take me to any specific um, link okay so for example if i click on this business central it will take me to an another link okay this is what like interactive uh, headlines you can just give interactive headlines so in on drill down page i have written this and hyperlink is a function which is used to link your um link your um uh, link any any website any url if you want to link that you can go ahead with that okay 
so yes we have created the headline part you can find the complete headline part i will be adding this particular uh, code in my github page okay so i'll also i have also given the github uh, um github link in my uh, video description so in all the videos like you can just click on any of the videos i'll show you like how you can see the disk like any video this is the previous video which i have uploaded a uh, role center video i'll just show you okay once if you click on any video even um even in this video which you are watching okay you can find the description detailed description here Okay, just scroll down and you can see if you click on more okay if you click on So if you click on more, you can find all the links here. Okay, so this is for ebook. This is to schedule a call. If you scroll down, you can find my blog link. Okay, I'll be updating. This is a WhatsApp uh, uh, community channel, like WhatsApp channel for Business Central. You can click on join if you wanted to get the updates. And uh, uh, in my channel, you know, like if you go to the channel, you can see this more option okay in that more option if you click here you can find my github page so once if you click on this github you can see the codes i'll be updating the code here okay you can just uh, um, make it you can use the code from here okay so i'll be updating the code so don't forget to check this so what we have done so far is that we have created a headline part now we have to add this headline part in our role center page so previously we have added all the action navigation everything inside the actions button navigation bar navigation menu everything inside the action button and the action bars as well in the action button so now if you want to add the headline part that should be under the layout okay because you are going to design the business central layout so in the layout under the area role center the first group i am just going to add the role center headline okay this is the part and you can give the part number any number and then this is the role center headline this is what the name of my page role center headline so you can just add it here and make application area is equal to all that's it and this is my profile which i have already created so you have to open that demo profile as well so once it is done you can save this and execute your code so your code your business central home page will looks like this just go and try this and let me know and uh, in role center we have um, queues okay and tiles that i have already discussed in my uh, playlist you can just go and find that in the playlist here i have already discussed about the queues okay so just go and search for just control press control and f and search for the queues you can find it in my playlist um okay so queues in business central we have already discussed about it and we have uh, i i have already un also discussed like how to embed the power bi okay so that part is also done the only thing is we have to look for the cart part and the list part we will ch uh, we will understand that in the next video thank you take care and bye bye have a great day ahead hello hello pamadi ah solunga jana